The buildings you construct will help shape your campaign. Will you conquer the Aegean with absolute military might? Or will you use diplomacy, stockpile resources and trade your way into power? Whichever way you go, you can be helped or hindered by the buildings you construct. All buildings are broken down into categories. Special, military, administration, temples, port and resources. Leveling up your main settlement will offer different building choices and more space to build. If any settlement is by the sea, which you can identify by this anchor icon here, you will gain access to the port building tree, which gives bonuses to food and production. This icon will also point out special buildings that can be constructed in the related settlement. It's worth your while looking out for these. They can provide extra bonuses, resources, and even give you access to mythical units. Let's break down the different categories of building and what they can do for you. The first is your main building chain. Every settlement, major and minor, has it as it represents the settlement as a whole. The more you upgrade this building, the more your settlement grows and gives you more slots for new buildings. Major settlements have eight slots in total and minor settlements have four. New levels of this building also bring additional advantages such as population growth, happiness and a better garrison that will defend your settlement if attacked. If you go into the overview menu and hover over the main settlement building, you will see a red number. This tells you the population surplus costs needed to upgrade. Your current population growth and surplus can be seen over in your administration panel. Hovering over the growth, you will see a breakdown of your growth. At the bottom, you will see how many turns until your next surplus point. All your other buildings will be restricted by the level of this building. Going into your building browser, you can see what level your main building will have to be at to construct or level up any other buildings. The special buildings will differ slightly depending on the faction you're playing, the settlement and region. This category contains some powerful buildings that can enhance your troops, give you better diplomatic relations and grant you access to mythical units. Take your time to look through and understand these. They are not to be overlooked. The military section is self-explanatory. These buildings will allow you to train a variety of different troops. Leveling up these buildings will give you access to more expensive but more powerful units. You will also find defensive buildings here like the Watchtower which among other things hinders enemy movement within your region and the Guardhouse which grants extra troops in your settlement's garrison but comes at a penalty to happiness. Administration buildings deal with all areas of your population. There are a lot of choices in these buildings to help in your campaign. Population growth, happiness and influence can all be significantly boosted by these buildings. You can also gain a flat boost in percentage to resources gathered and lower the recruitment cost of troops and buildings. Here you can recruit spy and envoy agents to aid you in your campaign. We'll cover agents in more depth in another video. You will find one temple for every god involved in the Trojan War. The gods will grant favour in the way of powerful effects if you build their temple. Once built, you can switch the temple to worship another god, but this will come at a cost and time. They will also give you access to the priestess agent. We will cover the gods in a later video, so stay tuned for that. The last is resource. We've done a whole video talking about resources, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. There are different options to increase your production. Each option comes with a unique flavour, and while some might incur local penalties, they can provide useful effects for the province or even your faction. Remember you can always knock down buildings to make room for another if the usefulness of that building has run out. Learning to balance out these different buildings will take time. Choosing to prioritise happiness over military growth to stop your population from rebelling would be a good idea. Every stage of the campaign will present new challenges you will have to overcome, and the buildings you construct is one way you can succeed.